Sleeping Giant. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about ticket symbol INO Innovio Pharmaceutical. So this is a company that we profiled here on the channel before when we talked about our COVID-19 vaccine companies in Innovio was actually one of them. But ever since then, the stock has really struggled to make some moves and has just sit uh, back and taken a backseat from uh, companies like Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and I mean, like the guys that are leading the space today. We know that Pfizer's vaccine is currently being administered to people across the country. Uh, Moderna vaccine is on its way. So you're going to have two companies with their vaccines out there. But what we notice, if you look at the, the price uh, for Moderna and uh, Pfizer, the stock price just totally collapsed. It hasn't made any move. You would think that when companies announce vaccines like this, the stock prices are supposed to jump or skyrocket. But we see the complete opposite. Moderna pulled back to uh, under 120 at one point. Um, Pfizer is currently trading about $34. So there's been this crazy movement not really going along with the vaccine that these companies are putting out. So I want us to take a look at Innovio because what they are doing, even though they're, they're really slow to get to market, but their vaccine is, to me, has a lot of promise. They are working on what I call a DNA vaccine, which is a completely different approach from the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. And I'm going to show you guys some other advantages that this vaccine has in the marketplace that they uh, the, comp the competition doesn't have. So, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if we see here, uh, again, for Innovio, here's the latest news that came out. The fact that their vaccine uh, phase one trier um, really turned out to look really, really good. So again, this is, I'm, let me bring that up here. So this is uh, the information that I actually got. And that's why I wanted to do this video. Um, they've gone back and they, they, after their issues with the FDA, they've gone back and they're redoing their trials. And now they're going back to phase one. And now they're looking ahead. This is the vaccine that we have. And so far, they ran some tests and the clinical trials for that phase one is looking really, really promising. And that, to me, that's good. And if you listen to most doctors and you see the reason why they think this vaccine is by far the best in the marketplace, even though the vaccine is not complete. But the idea that is doing a, a DNA vaccine is something that differentiates these guys from the other from the other companies. It was a race to the finish. We thought that whoever comes out with the vaccine first, the price stock is going to completely explode. That has proven to not be the case because Pfizer stock has not exploded. Again, Moderna stock has not exploded that like we anticipated. But now it, I'm looking like, hey, it looks like who whoever comes out with a vaccine that's going to, you know, do the work that's going to be efficient. It's going to you need to take one vaccine and that's it. You don't have to do two doses like you do with the Pfizer vaccine. I think that's going to be a game changer. And Innovio is really uh, on track for doing that. Uh, one of the things that you need to be aware of is that even though Innovio is slow to get their vaccine, I think it's because of the fact that they do DNA. So it's not very easy to just run their clinical trials uh, compared to the other uh, companies. Then here's another thing that I want you guys to really keep an eye on. Um, because based on the information I'm getting and reading, it, it means like the vaccine has a lot of efficiencies that the other ones don't have. Uh, transportation wise, it's easy to transport. Uh, storage wise, it's easy to store. You don't have to uh, put it in refrigerator to transport it across the country. So it doesn't have to be frozen like you can see here, which is excellent. We're talking about if you're taking this vaccine to remote areas and you have to worry about uh, keeping it frozen, that's not really going to cut it because uh, the cost of distribution is going to be very, very expensive renting uh, containers that are have refrigerators that will keep it frozen. So again, this vaccine to me has an upside. Again, the stock right now is relatively cheap. If we look at uh, the current price of the stock, it's trading somewhere at about $10 and some change. But if we get in early now and just hold it for the long run and give these guys enough time to build this stock, if this vaccine comes out, this stock would be over $100 stock. Again, that's my personal prediction. So I'm looking more so from the uh, technology standpoint, 
what these guys are doing. They're not just building a, a vaccine like the other guys. They're building something that it's going to change in the future. Again, I was looking like just the details as to how the vaccine works. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> never been to med school, but I see the, the way the vaccine works from a DNA standpoint has a tremendous amount of a promise compared to the current vaccines in the marketplace. So do some research about these guys, read a little bit about them. There's a ton of information on their website. You can actually learn more about what they're working on from a vaccine standpoint. Um, they don't have the reputation of a Pfizer or a Moderna, but if these guys come out with the vaccine that you can go in and take one shot and you're good to go. And again, a fact that it, it targets like the DNA I think it's to me, it's huge, a huge amount of upside there. So definitely do some research um, on these companies. The other thing I wanted to bring up to you guys here is uh, the last one in here that they actually have this uh, funding from the U.S. Uh, uh, Defense Department. So they're still getting funding, you know, to because they see a, a tremendous amount of potential in their vaccine. So that's why these guys are getting um, a lot of funding uh, yeah, from the government to keep their, their work going. So that's what I wanted to cover in this particular one for you guys. So I still think that if you are, are under $11 right now, you can pick up a few shares of Innovio and just hold on to it. Again, my whole concept here is that for stocks that I think they're highly undervalued, you pick somewhere between 50 and 100 shares and just you just hang on to it. This one is going to be a little bit of a wait for us uh, because it's really dependent on this vac vaccine. And so just hang on to that. And then as we see more and more data comes out for their test, when, when the phase two comes out, phase three, um, start looking to go for FDA approvers. And then you can start adding and building that position. But then your, your dollar cost average is going to be really, really low because you started at $10. So that would be the game plan for this. So I still uh, think that there's, a, there's a, some good opportunity here. And I didn't want to just let this one slip. You see, to me, this is a sleeping giant, and I don't want us to, to miss out on it. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, always do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.